All right, so if you guys are shopping around for a new Sloyd knife, you're probably gonna see a bunch of different knives. And the question is, what knife should you get? I mean, they're all gonna range from maybe like $5 to well over $100. It can be overwhelming if you have not handled any of them or not seen a direct review on any of them. So let's go over a couple of different versions here. On this side right here, I have four really cheap uh, Sloyd knives that were around the $10 mark. Some were like $5, others were maybe around uh, $15. But the one I'm mainly gonna focus on is this guy because I found it to be the best of the the cheaper Sloyds. I got it on sale for about $8, but it's this Smilekey uh, Sloyd knife. Now we also have different ranges of Sloyd knives, like the ever popular Mora Sloyd. Uh, you can get them for about uh, $25 to $30, depending where you're at. Great knife. Um, I did plenty of reviews on this one, as well as the flex cut variants. Great knives. If you want to see those reviews, check that out. But primarily, this video is going to be about the differences between a $10 Sloyd knife and a $100 Sloyd knife. And why you may want to pick either one of them. So, like I said, this is a Smilekey one. This one is from Deepwood Ventures and is their shorter Sloyd knife. Because I, I personally like a shorter blade for, um, for my intended use. But let, let's start going over and what the difference between this $10 knife and $100 knife is here. Uh, blade construction. Both blades will have similar uh, shape and usually length to them as well. Most of the cheaper Sloyd knives are going to be on the smaller end. A little bit even smaller than the, the, um, than the Deep Adventures one. And I think it's even smaller than... This, the Mora one. I know it's about the same size as the Mora. So all the cheaper knives are going to be about the same size as your Mora 120. Um, and there's no variance in size of these ones typically. I've not found any. Uh, the Beavercraft ones might be a hair longer, but uh, still, they're all about the same. Uh, the more expensive ones, you can usually find varying lengths to fit what you want. Uh, even the, the mid-grade ones like more and flex cut, you can get multiple lengths for the blades as well, which is a cool option for you for you for those of you trying to figure out what you want to get. Uh, they're both going to be uh, high carbon steel. The Smilico ones say that theirs is hardened to about 61 Rockwell, um, which is within that range or at the higher end of the range where you want your your steel hardness to be for edge retention. And it, to be honest, once you put a good edge on it, it is a pretty good blade. Um, the Deep Adventures one here that I have, they they say that there's a 62, which is on the very tip edge of where you want your steel hardness to be, and it has really good edge retention. I'm telling you, this this knife is really really nice. Um, it cuts through wood like nothing. Overall, you can see that there is, um, there is some extra fit and finish stuff that. Uh, one the ten dollar blade doesn't have versus the hundred dollar blade but i'm going to go over that here in the end here in the little fit and finish section uh handle construction a lot of the cheap sloyd knives are going to use cheap handles and to me they're almost all going to be really small like i wear extra large gloves and this handle kind of just disappears in my hands to me that's a bit unsafe um i personally like to have a lot more meat to my handles that way I can position my hands however I want and it just it fits nicer. Um, but that being said, that is also personal preference. You can see there's a massive difference here. Uh, my preference obviously is going to be the Deep Adventures one. Um, but that's not saying that this is bad. I just feel like it's a bit short. Like if I want to hold on to it properly, my pinky right here is not going to be holding on to anything. Um, it's, they also use cheaper wood. Uh, I think this is an oak handle um it, it looks all right um but this one I, in order to get the more expensive tier i opted for tiger maple i believe is what it is so you can see the stripes going up and down there um, it's just a beautiful handle not only that it it feels really good it, it is um shaped properly to like fit in your hand pretty good and like um it contours to your fingers pretty good when you're handling it 
So I think it's a pretty good design. All right, and then fit and finish of the the blades. Obviously a $10 knife, you're not gonna have all the nice fine polishing that the other ones are gonna have. And it it kind of just looks like they slapped it together with uh, whatever tools that they have. Like this doesn't like contour down in the shape to the knife very well. Uh, the tip was actually rounded on this one, which I'm not too terribly fond of. And you can see the machining marks where they, uh, how they sharpened the blade edge. Um, still, everything is sturdy. All the ones I found were sturdy um, and lasted well, uh, and were still pretty sturdy afterwards. But, I mean, you can't really compare for fit and finish between uh, the Deep Adventures when they polish it. It is, it just feels seamless. Everything just looks really nice and is just fitted. It just fits to your hand really well. And the tip is nice and pointy. I mean, not only that, like on the back of the knives as well. Uh, if you're, if, say if you're like pushing with it, with the back of your thumb, this part right here is basically a 90 degree turn and has a sharper edge on it. They actually round the backs of these knives right here. So if you do put it, your finger on the back of it, it's very comfortable to push against, which is great. Also, with the cheaper Sloyds, you're not going to get a, a sheath like 99% of the time. You're not going to get one if you're getting for about $10. If you get the Mora knives, you're going to get the basic plastic sheath but the more expensive ones uh some of them you will be uh choosing if you want the, sh the sheath or not but um this one within a hundred dollar bracket i was able to get the sheath with it which is important in my opinion for any sloyd knife just just for storage i mean they're it, it just it just makes sense to me uh i also just like having sheaths or places to put my knives as well but still great option um Always get a, a sheath for your knife if you can afford it or if you want it. Now the final question here. Which one should you buy? If you're on a budget and you're willing to put time and effort to refine that edge on the blade, the cheap $10 slow knives will get the job done. Especially this version right here, which I will have in the description below. I personally like this one, this uh, smiley key one, over all the other cheaper Sloyd knives. It just, it works better to me. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind you can get by with it. Now if you want to opt for a little bit more expensive knife, like the the Mora for about $25 to $30, or the Flex Cut versions about uh, $45 to $50, those are great options as well. Uh, they're going to be more refined than your cheaper $10 one. But the, the $100 ones, I'm just going to say it's Right now, if you are a beginner and just getting into whittling and wood carving, do not get the hundred dollar Sloyd knife. Uh, you I'm get just primarily because you're not gonna appreciate it as much as um, just starting off with a really nice Sloyd knife versus even just like a flex cut knife at half the price. Really, if you want a, if you're a beginner and you want a really good Sloyd knife, just get the Flex Cut one. I find them to be very good for the price. Uh, like I said, forty to fifty dollars, which is half the price of this guy, um, and they cut just as good. The handle construction is a little bit shorter, but it's still big enough to fit in my hands properly. Um, but yeah, if you're a beginner, don't bother getting the hundred dollar ones. Please don't. You're going to be spending a lot of money. And then if you find that you don't like uh, whittling and wood carving, you have a hundred dollar knife that you just spent money on. Um, now if you're experienced and you want something nicer, like you're already using these guys and you just want to get, you just want to bump it up and get some of the best knives you can get, go ahead, get some of the more expensive ones. Um, like I said, this one's Deep Adventures. There's plenty of other knife, knife makers out there that make high quality Sloyd knives. Alright, that's that. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you have yourselves a good day.